everyone, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plants on Instagram, ERW underscore plants, online, ERWplans.com, and on Etsy, ERW Plans. Today, I'm going to show you the best ultra thin pens to use in your compact passion planner. In case you missed it, there was a major announcement recently that the classic and the compact now rebranded the large and small respectively have rejoined the Pash fam and are even available to buy in the shop. This is super exciting, but I've seen a lot of people ask what pens should they use for such a tiny planner as the compact. Today, I'm going to show you the pens that I use for my compact. I'm going to actually use the pens on this compact spread here specifically in the to-do list section so you can see exactly how they will look on your planner. So the first one I'm going to go with is probably my favorite and that's the Pilot Juice Pen in a 0.38. I'm showing you these in all of the colors that I frequently use. They do come in more colors. Most of them are gel ink pens. However, some of, I do have one ballpoint in there that I will show you. This one is in blue black. Next, I'm going to show you also in a Pilot Juice family. This is the Pilot Juice Up pen in an 04. One of the things that I wanted to do is um, in doing this as a video rather than a still image, it shows you kind of how smooth some of them write and also that some of them may show different sizes like a 0.38 versus a 0.04, but they're actually very similar and across brands, even though a 0.38 should be millimeters and an 04 should be millimeters, therefore the 04 should be bigger, you'll notice that that doesn't always correspond, once again, especially across the brands. So that's the Pilot Juice Up 04 in black. I think I'll just stick with the Pilot family for right now. And we're gonna go straight on to the Pilot High Tech C. That high yeah, tech. That's also a gel pen, and that's also in an 04. Another thing to keep in mind with pens is that the amount of pressure you put on them will dictate how much ink comes out of them. So if you get one of these pens and you find that it's not as fine as when I use it, that might be because you're putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm also gonna show you the Pilot G-Tech C4 pen, which is also a 0.4. I have this in both black and pink, but I think the pink will help it stand out a bit from the other ones. So there we are. Next, I'm going to move on to my um, zebra pens. I have two here that are ostensibly the same size. We have the Sarza clip gel pen in, in a 0.4. So this is the Zebra Sarza. In an 04. And then we similarly have the Sarza Dry from Zebra in an 04. And as you'll notice, That one just seems a little bit bolder. Even though it's the same manufacturer, same size, to me it seems a little bolder. It's something that I would have no problem using in my to-do list, but up on my daily list I might have an issue because these get even narrower. So once again, just because it's the same size doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the same line width, which is kind of weird to me, but you know, that's how it goes. Um, for comparison, I just wanted to show you this is the Pentel Energel pen, and this is gonna be huge. It 
and this is an 07. As you can see, it's actually not that far off from that Sarza dry in the 04, which kind of goes back to my whole point about just because it's the numbers here doesn't necessarily dictate how bold or thick that line's going to be. I'm going to do the Uniball pens next. I have a few different ones that I like to use. This is the Signo in violet black. And this is a, th a 0 0.38. And that is a gel pen. We have the Signo gel in a 0.28, which is definitely thinner and one of the ones that I go to fairly frequently. And you can see that there's a lot of line thinness difference between the 3.8 and the 2.8. And then we have the Uniball Jet Stream, which is the only ballpoint pen I have in this whole video. And for people that think that, oh, if it's a ball pen, it's going to have to be bold. Nope. The Jet Stream is kind of awesome because it writes fairly smoothly for a ballpoint pen. And it's really thin. And this is also a 3.8. And then we'll move on to the microns. These are pens that when I first got a compact, everyone's like, oh, you're going to need the um, Pigma Micron. This is the 01. And I heard a lot of people say, oh, that's the thinnest you can go with the Pigma Microns. But that is actually not correct. You can go one size further and get the 005. And they actually do, I think, 12 different colors in the 005. So there's no excuse for saying, oh, but it only comes in a limited number of colors. Nope. You have a very extensive choice for colors in that one. So those are the thinnest pens that I own and the ones I'm going to use the most when I'm planning in my compact planner. Um, the Pilot Juice Pen is probably my favorite. It's not the thinnest, but it is it does have the smoothest writing. After that, the Uniball Signo and the Uniball Jetstream are the other two that I'm going to use the most in here. Um, the Pilot High Tech C and the G Tech I find don't write as smoothly. And the Pigma Microns, you have to be really careful. Um, I don't think you can see on the video, but there's almost no point left on this because I'm really heavy handed when I push down with this. So there's a lot of ink. I can still feel how heavy this pen is. There's a lot of ink in this, but I'm probably not going to have a lot more uh, use on this because the tip, I don't know if you can see, is like right there versus on my 01 that I just bought, you have a lot more tip here. And that's how much tip was on the 05 when I originally got it. But you can see, just because I'm so heavy handed, the tip pushes into the pen over time. Also, the other thing to keep in mind with the Microns, I have not had this experience and I travel everywhere with them, but apparently if they get too, to a particular level on ink, if you take them on a plane in the pressurized cabin, apparently these will explode. So, if you travel a lot, these might not be the pens for you. Um, what I'm going to do next, though, is give you one last um, tip, which is I'm going to show you how well they do when we highlight or marker over them. Next, what I'm going to show you is how each of these pens works with highlighters and Tombows. I put down the Tombow calligraphy pen as one last option on the bottom. It's what I tend to use when I'm writing in here as a header marker, as you can see here. So I've put that at the bottom as kind of a reference point for what a bold marker or a bold pen will look like. And then I've also put it over here to kind of show you what the highlighter looks like. I've given the pens a good one minute to dry. One of the nice things about the Sarza dry gel it's a pen specifically for left-handed people, so it doesn't smear. It dry. It was probably the first one to dry, if I was timing them. Um, 
but as you can see, I've had all of them dry long enough that there's no smearing when I run my hand over it. What we're gonna compare with is I have a 005 Tombow marker, and I'm going to use my favorite highlighter, which is the Mild Liner, also from Zebra. And we're gonna compare how these different pens smear or don't smear compared to these two. So we're gonna start with the Mild Liner, and I'm just gonna go over each one on the highlighter section. As you can see the juice gel pen smears pretty much right away. Let me get it, clean this up here after each use so we're not just smearing ink from the previous pen. The nice thing about the mild liners is that you can use those and they um, to basically self clean by just kind of scribbling on a piece of paper with them. So then we have the juice up gel pen, which also smears. We have the High Tech um, C gel pen, which also smeared a bit on us. We have the Pilot G Tech. I'm pretty sure this is gonna smear, but let's just do it. That actually was the least smeary of all of the Pilot pens, which is kind of shocking to me. We have the Sarza Clip gel pen didn't smear very much at all. Still have a little bit showing on my highlighter, but not a ton. It's very nice. Uh, the dry gel pen, which actually smeared quite a bit despite being the fastest to dry. The Energel pen always smears. Actually, it didn't smear very badly at all that time. I'm kind of shocked on that one. I've always had smearing issues with that. The Uniball Signo Gel. I'll just do, there's two with two different widths. And while we've got some color pickup on here, the smearing was minimal on the page, which is really nice. Let's do the Ballpoint Jet Stream, which had no color pickup and no smearing, which is why we love Ballpoint Pen. The Micron, we'll do both of those because they're just width difference. And as you can see, no color pickup, no smearing with the Microns. And then the Tombow Calligraphy Pen, which also had no smearing and no color pickup. Now we'll move on to the Tombow Marker. We'll do the same thing, start from the top down. These also are self-cleaning, so if you have a piece of paper, you can uh, clean your marker. juice pen, color pickup and smearing. Juice up, same problem. Definitely smearing with the high tech. G-Tech definitely has color pickup on the pen and it's, I think it is smearing, it's just because it's pink, it's really hard to see the smear. The Sarza, no smearing, color pickup, but no smearing, which is very nice. The dry gel, smears badly. I'm actually kind of surprised by how badly that dry gel smears. The Energel, actually does slightly better than the dry gel. That's, in my mind, pretty sad. Uniball Signo in the two different widths. We have no smearing, no color pickup. Ballpoint, no smear, no color pickup. Actually get a slight bit on the ballpoint with the color pickup, but we have no smearing, which is nice. Micron. No smearing, no color pickup. Tombow on Tombow, no smearing, no color pickup. So 
basically what I would recommend is if you really want the fine pen that's you have no intention of highlighting over whatsoever or you have no problem with highlighting first and then writing over top of it I go with the pilot pens I find the ink lasts longer I like the way they write better if you are looking for something that you can highlight over I'm going to either say go with the ballpoint pens the uniball signos had some very light smearing but not a lot the ballpoint had none or go with the microns the microns are made for art so they don't smear much like the Tombow is made for art and coloring so it's not going to smear if you're using the Tombow marker as you can see the Sarza clip gel pen didn't smear you also had the signos not signos not smearing so you have a bit more if you're going to highlight with the Tombow versus using the mild lighter and there you have it you have your set of pens that you can use for fine writing in your compact passion planner As always, if you enjoyed this video, please click the link in the upper left hand corner to subscribe. Also, please let me know with a like and a comment. We do this every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. That's 9 a.m. Eastern or 6 a.m. Pacific. If you have any questions that you would love to have answered, I will be doing a frequently asked questions video toward the end of this month. So please leave a comment, send an email. The email is elizabeth at erwplans.com or go to the Instagram and leave a comment there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.